Gene Hoagland, uh, the impromptu version, right here in Seal Beach. Woo! We already asked a few questions that he got right. You, you guys missed it. Uh, we'll keep on going here. I'll keep it. I'll keep it West Coast. Um, who produced Sanctuary's album Refuge Denied? <coughs> Dave Mustaine. Wow. Uh, yeah. All right. Uh, how many albums did Pantera have before Cowboys from Hell? Timer's on. Oh, okay. Okay, Metal Magic, Project New Jungle, another third one. Power Metal. I would say four albums before Cowboys. Nice job. Correct answer. Shit. Alright. Whoa. Uh, hold on, hold on. Is that four for four? Uh, yeah, he's kicking oh, ass right here. Hold on, hold on. Where's my heart? Uh, Maybe boy, it's hard to do this from memory. Oh, that's too easy for you. Original book with the Pantera. Uh, Terry Lee Glaze. Nice. What was the name of Dave Brocky's first band before starting war? Was it Bong Water? Can it, can it be a multiple choice? Oh, uh, I don't I, know. I try to get that one. I don't know. That was one. on Hello Records? I don't know. Not X Cops or any of that. Stuff. You might have to take that one to the face or use a lifeline. Try to take it to the face. <laughs> yeah, I'll just take that. Take it to the face. Oh, the butcher's enjoying one. It and Gene Hoagland. All right. Let's go, let's go to the next one. Oh, this one's cool. No one ever got this one. What was Tom Mariah's occupation before joining fucking Slayer? Respiratory therapist. Holy oh, shit. Oh, fuck yeah. Fuck yeah. Oh my god. All right, this one. This one. I'll, I'll throw out a, a, this one's hard. Name the song in the opening credits of Nightmare on Elm Street 3 Dream Warriors. You never saw the movie? Can I pass? Oh, yeah, you're going to have to use a lifeline, yeah. Okay. So that one, um, I'll just give you that answer. All right. Do, do you have a guess? On which of uh, the three? Nightmare on uh, Elm Street. Nightmare on Elm Street 3, Dream Warriors, intro song to the movie. Damn. Uh, Dawkins, Dream Warriors, that's the only song I've That was the one that most people would say, but the yeah, correct answer is um, In My Dreams from Dawkins. Yo. <laughs> no, no, uh, uh, into uh, the fire, into what? the fire. Oh my god, oh my god. Oh god. Oh god. I just threw that one out. That wasn't no, a real Jesus. question. Man. That wasn't a real question. What band does Rob Zombie's younger brother sing for? Power Man 5000. Oh shit. They're correct. Who filled in for Lamb of God guitarist Mark Morton on their 2009 tour opening for Metallica? Who filled in on guitar for Lamb of God when they were on tour with Metallica? Tough question. Wow, so that, that gets past me. Not Alex uh, Coleman. No. Okay. Uh, Doc Coyle from God Forbid. That's nice. See, see, all right, all right. This one's. Move on. When, which death metal frontman has an inverted cross branded into his forehead? Oh, I. GB. Yep. Deicide. Uh, what is the shortest Slayer song on an official studio album? Shortest Slayer song, time-wise, on an, on an official studio album. Okay, I would imagine that's, uh, Necrophobic? Nice fucking job, Gene Hogan. I mean... Jesus! Who sings backup vocals on Slayer's Evil Has No Boundaries off their debut album, Show No Mercy? <laughs> Johnny Araya. Jeff Hanneman, other guys, and yours truly. Gene Hoagland, yeah! Ow! Wow! That's a real question right there, too. I've never asked that one, dude. Oh, 
<laughs> no, you can't come. Ow. You'd have to come in and ask questions. So awesome. <laughs> you would fucking you would crush, dude. Awesome. You would crush. Totally. Listen, right. I get smarter every day just living with the guy. Like seriously. <laughs> like, like. That was the, that was some hardcore <laughs> shit, right wow, there. Wow. Okay. Awesome.